Uh, good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is People to People with Rodney Grimes. Here I am uh, once again doing what I love to do. I love networking and being with the people who make things happen. I have a gentleman sitting in the seat right now. I'm going to have everybody, because we're going to be going, this is going to be an ongoing process because we just are here and in the intelligence office here in Tyson Corner, 1934, uh, Old Gallows Road. Uh, we are here networking with some very, very lucrative individuals who care about uh, helping people move forward and changing their lives. So, uh, sir, if you would introduce yourself and tell uh, the audience a little about what you do. Indeed, indeed. So my name is Rafael Carvajal. I represent Premise Bank uh, out in McLean. Um, you know, I'm a branch manager. I'm here with my team. They're actually recording me. Um, but uh, no, it's an honor to be here. You know, I come to this networking event. I've been, this is the second one specifically for the networking on the last, what is it, the last Thursday of the month, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but no, yes, uh, you know, being part of the community, uh, I'm new to my role here with the new company. I've been here for about five months, but I mean, the opportunity that you see, the people that you meet, it's, uh, you know, this is what it's about, you know, so. I'm excited. I'm excited. Actually, we met at the last networking event, and uh, I had talked to you about coming in, and you have some things that you can help uh, help young people or yeah. some young businesses. So uh, if it was somebody out there that's interested in trying to start a business, would you be one of the individuals that they need to come see? So, yeah, so my, back, my background comes from not only management as well as business specialists, you know, opening account, relationship managing. And, you know, it's, it's, it's tough, and we were talking about it earlier, that when somebody has a business idea, because typically the 9 to 5 is not enough, you know, let, let's be honest, you have to want, find other ways to, you know, as they say, hustle and get a little bit on the side to survive, especially if you have a, a family, if you are a homeowner, if you're renting, if you have kids, if you have cars, you know, all of this comes into place and it's overwhelming. Now, what is it that you do to make that extra income, you know? Um, having your own business on the side, it's one of the primary source of income. Um, but the thing is, you know, not having the knowledge or knowing which step to take first is tough. So there's a lot of people that take advantage of this opportunity um, where they charge anywhere from 350 at minimum to 1200 just to register your business, uh, get your EIN number, get you a trade name or business license, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, um, build you a website, and even direct you to open a bank account. And guess what? We can help you with that. I myself can help you with that, guide you through every step of the way, hold your hand, tell you what you need to do, uh, the people who you need to connect with at no cost because that's what a bank does, especially a community bank, you know. We have two resources, different people that we work with, SBA lending, we are a preferred lender with Primus. Uh, we have business development officers, we have, you know, our team that is uh, fully diverse on every aspect from the teller side to the banker role, and, you know, it's not going to cost you more than $100, which should cost you only. Okay. So with that being said, uh, knowledge is power. Um, what I like about the fact that in our conversation you were saying that is um, your doors are open to people who don't know what to do. Exactly. So for many of the individuals out there that you find yourself wanting to start a business and you're afraid, this gentleman and his colleagues are the ones y'all want to come and see. When they open the doors and that guy not going to be judging you because you don't know what you're doing. What they're going to do is going to give you the opportunity to learn and going to tell you and give you the directions. So I appreciate you coming in and we're doing this. This, this is just a short segment. We're here at the uh, intelligence office up here. Um, it was a pleasure. I, 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 what I want to do is make sure that we're going to have you and your colleagues going to come back and we're going to do a, 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 a full segment of talking about what it is that you need to do to get your business started, to talk about getting loans, to talk about being a, a corporation and getting yourself where you are legally moving and don't have to worry about somebody looking at you because you're struggling or you don't know. They will help you and they will put you in a position where you'll be able to make a change in your life. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you, you so time. much for coming. And there. Always right. a pleasure, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um, Y'all want to, if uh, Zena, if you can bring in and just keep it running, baby girl. And let's get the ne next uh, next Thank people so in. Perfect. Okay. Do you have a business card yes, anything? I do. Um, give a give her one of the business cards. And, oh, yeah. And we make sure that uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, we gonna talk. So I promise you. Uh, but you're not giving her leave right now, are you? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. I got a couple. How long do you think you'll be doing this for? Well, 30? um, 
um, it's not going to be long because I don't want you to leave without me getting you set up okay. to get you in. Got you, got you. Okay, all, all right. right. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, thank you. So everybody that's out there tuning in right now, y'all stay with me because we got different people coming in. Yeah. And, uh, Studio. And uh, we're going to be setting this up and making things happen. And here goes another one of my main man right here. I love this guy here. Um, he's already been on the program before. What's up, main man? How's everything? What's up? What's up? What's up? How are you? Man, I'm so glad to see I you, bro. Break your mic now. Uh, no, we, yo, you big money, so you can you can <laughs> you can buy this studio. I'm trying to get on your level. I, I mean, I love. Are it. we I live know. right now? Huh? Yeah, we live. Oh man, that's we, awesome. We, we hey, moving live. Yeah. So, so how's yeah. everything going with you? Fantastic, fantastic. How so, you been? since you've been here the last time, uh, you, you uh, uh, cleaned up any uh, major situations? Yeah, yeah, we've had we've had a bunch of them, good, bad, and indifferent. Okay, so again, just tell the audience. You look into the camera. Tell Cameras the audience. Right there, yeah, that's your camera right there. Now, people. There you go. There and you tell go. them, you know, pretty much what you do and how to get in touch with you. All right. Awesome. My name's Eamon Garvey. I manage Puro Clean Arresting. Your paramedics are property damage. So we clean up all your floods, fires, mold, and crime scenes that happen. The best way to get in touch with me is my cell phone, 703-743-4482. You can call or text 24 hours a day. And so, you know, basically, so when people have a situation like if the house burned down or mm -hmm. a flood took place, they can get in touch with you. Yep, they call me. Do it take a long time for them to get a result, you know, to get y'all to come out? No, we're usually there within, on average, within four hours, oh, okay. no matter what time you call. Okay. And is it just when it's a disaster or can they call you just say if they just wanted to straighten up some things? Yeah, if they want to straighten up, so call me anytime. No matter what you need, if you need help with an issue, call me. And if it's not within our scope of expertise, then I have a trusted partner and another business that I can put them in touch with, make sure that they get taken care of. And so, again, I appreciate what you've been doing. I appreciate the support you've been Absolutely. showing the People to People podcast. Um, again, you know you, you you part of the family, so whenever you want to set up it. to come in for us to sit down, for us to talk about what you're doing, any major things, any major information, awesome. this is a platform for right. you. And remember, we need teammates. We're hiring still, so if you apply and you mention – people to people or if you refer somebody and we hire them and they mention that they refer by people to people we're going to throw out referral bonuses i uh, see now see that's what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about the networking aspect of the things that's going on out here in the tyson community um individuals like this mm -hmm. gentleman who is always trying to help support us and and to make things easy and make easy access and give support to those in need i appreciate, I appreciate you man, it, my man. friend all right all right have a good uh, okay. one okay all right i'll talk to you soon yes, and as you know again it's people to people with rodney grimes and we are doing these interviews and we are just just trying to make things happen and i'm excited because uh what's going on we're here at the intelligence office here in tyson's corner uh we had a very very nice turnout i was really surprised at the individuals that showed up and uh, what we're doing is we're making a difference in the community um here in the dmv this is not just for tyson's this is for the dmv itself and also outside of DMV, if you have something you want to talk about, some exposure, some things that you want to make happen, please come and get in touch with us and make sure that you let us know and we'll be right there to give you that opportunity to be able to come in and make something happen. So uh, how are we looking? We got, can we? The next person is on her way. Her name is Kendall. Okay. And she owns a real estate company and she knows a lot of Oh, so she, she really, okay. Can you tell um, Christy to let's let's kind of have them so that we can keep it moving? Thank you so much. And, and as I said, you we live here at the uh, intelligence office here in uh, off of Old Gallows Road. You looking for office space? You looking for a place where you want to have the opportunity to be represented in a, as a business, doing things that making a difference in your life? You want to come out here? Nineteen uh, is nineteen thirty four. Old Gallus Road, you definitely want to come out. Hello, hello, how you doing there, young lady? Excellent. How's everything? Welcome, welcome to People to People. Thank you. Okay, so that's your camera right there. Which? This, right there. So when you want to address the audience. Oh, that one right there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, and we are live right now. So if you would, can you introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about what you do? Sure. I'm Kimberly Hartke. I am a uh, wellness consultant. I represent a line of light therapy patches to help people with their health. I love, uh, see, well, um, first of all, 
when I get speechless, it's because something that triggers and I'm interested in. My wife, please do not let this young lady get away without us talking to her because <laughs> when it's about wellness, that's very important. So for everybody that's out there, you definitely want to make sure that we get in touch with anybody that's going to help your health because right. we are in an area where health is very, very important. Well, we're taking an alternative approach to wellness, um, using the own body's resources to heal, to repair, and to rejuvenate. Um, basically, this inventor 17 or 18 years ago invented the, these little patches that helped the Navy SEALs have more energy when they had to go on long missions so that they didn't have to use amphetamines and um, caffeine to stay awake and alert. And uh, it was so successful, he's launched a corporation that's now in 80 countries. And I'm just one of hundreds of thousands of representatives of his product. A lot of alternative health practitioners carry his product in their um, clinics. And then independent representatives like myself, who works from home, can also represent the product and help turn our friends on to it. It's something very novel and different. Nobody's really heard of it before. Okay. Uh, the name of the company is called LifeWave. Okay, so how would they get in touch with you? Um, well, they could call me. Do, do I give my phone yes, number? Yes, you, you, whatever um, information you they, they, that so that they can call you and get directly to you, yes. Right. My cell phone number is 703-675-5557, and I'd love to talk to you more about it. I can send you to um, a website or a web page called startx39.com. Our flagship product is a stem cell activation patch, which helps you um, stimulate your own body stem cells to to repair and restore and to develop your um, your body and make it healthier on the, the cellular level. It can repair organs, tissues, the blood, uh, the brain. You know, it, it can do a lot of things. And the only competition for it is um, a medical uh, injection of of stem cells, external stem cells. So um, we think our product is very much um, a non-invasive approach, a safe approach to um, healing and repair. I love that because there's a lot of people out there who are afraid to kind of go to get certain things done to help heal their body because they mm -hmm. figure they got to either take something internally or they got to stick something in them or whatever the case may be. Right. But what you're saying, this is natural healing. And so yes. that's something that's uh, available and it's very, very good for those people who, like myself, is kind of up in age a little bit mm -hmm. when we want to get up there and we want to try different things. And I may have used this product before because I had this patch that I put on my foot mm -hmm. and I slept with it. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it pulled all of the impurities out. And when I took that patch off, I was surprised at what I saw. Mm -hmm. I was like, that came out of me. So uh, that's something that... Uh, if that, th That's a different technology. Okay. But, you know, there's a lot of new things happening in the, in the health and wellness field. And uh, for people that are open to it, it's, it's something that they should consider what they can personally do. We call it self-help healing. Okay. What they can personally do to enhance their, their quality of life and their longevity. We believe our products are going to extend people's lifespan. Did I give you my business card when we was out there? No. Okay, but um, I, I want to make sure that I do. I'd love to have and it. And <laughs> because what I would like for the, I, I want to make and give you that invitation for you to come to be on the podcast so we can get a real good time to sit down and get some real, real good information from you okay. so that we can be a help to so many other people. And as I understand, it's something else that you do, correct? I do a lot of different things. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, so... So um, are you uh, into the uh, real estate? Yes. My husband is a real estate broker, and I'm his publicist for his real estate company. Okay. You want to give him a plug? Sure. He's National Realty of Reston. However, he's all around the Beltway, the D.C. metro area. He has 150 agents in the area, all around the Beltway and in the District of Columbia. And he's a, a veteran of the industry, been in about 30 years. Okay. And we have a very nice uh, building out in Reston um, at a major, major intersection out there. So we're a high-visibility high company. We're always looking for good talent. If there's agents out there that are not happy where they're working, they should talk to Keith. His name is Keith Hartke. All right. So now, y'all heard that. And if y'all go out there and get a job, y'all make sure y'all come and take me to lunch. <laughs> but I appreciate <laughs> you so much. It's my pleasure. Nice Thank you so much you. for coming in. Thanks okay? for having me. All right. Okay. And next, as everybody knows, yeah, we get the next one in. And come on, we, we, 
We just keep it moving. And thank you so much, everybody that's out there. This is People to People with Rodney Grimes. As you know, we keep it moving. We do what we do to make things happen for the community. Here we are out in Tyson's Corner. We at the International uh, Intelligence Office here. And we are having interviews with different people who were in the uh, uh, networking event out there. So we're bringing them in and trying to get them to be able to uh, uh, come in and talk about their business. Um, watch your step right there. Okay, and uh, we have in each individuals come in. Hello, how you doing? Come have your seat right there. Welcome, welcome to uh, People to People. And this is actually when you address the audience. That's your camera right there. So, um, yeah. This. Yes. So we are live right now. And uh, basically what I would like you to do is to introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about what you do. I am Judith Mitchell, and my company is Platinum Flooring. Uh, I have been a resident here in McLean um, for uh, 22 years now. Um, I've been in business for 10 years. So I've enjoyed helping homeowners and um, businesses, you know, set up their own space. Um, so we provide carpet, hardwood floors, luxury vinyl plank flooring. We, ref we specialize in refinishing and restoration of existing hardwood floors. And we help a lot of um, real estate professionals, you know, when they stage properties, whether it's just, you know, switching carpet, you know, new carpet for that new car smell, right, in the home before it goes out in the market, or refinishing existing wood floors. Okay. So so if somebody had a new home and or an older home and they wanted to get it refurbished and things of that nature, you assist in that area? Yes. We've done so many 100-year-old homes in Old Town Alexandria. There's a lot in Arlington. You know, we've come in homes with... Um, parquet flooring, so we can refinish and restore hardwood floors back into life. Mm, that's good. Filipino goodbye. Yes. I know. Como esta? Mabute, mabute, mabute. Yeah. I know Paloma. I know Paloma. Oh, jo Judith. Judith. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, gosh. Oh, you, Tagalog. Speak better, you speak better Tagalog than I do. <laughs> no, I've been, um, yeah, there's a big Filipino community here. Yes. Yes. In, in the D.C. area. Yes, yes. Well, actually, I lived in the Philippines for two years. Oh, my so, gosh. Yes. Which part? Uh, Subic Bay, QB Point. Oh, Subic is beautiful. Yeah, I, it's changed a lot since I've been there. Yes. It was back in uh, 1979, 80 when I was there. So I, I've heard a lot of changes took in place. Yes, yes. So, yeah, so really what I want to say is just thank you, Salamat. And, uh, Salamat. I, I, uh, well, I'm going to run. <laughs> and so what I would like for you to do is to feel feel free to come back and I, what I want you to do is just come so we can talk about it. I would like to get you to do the program with us where we can talk about everything you do and you really can break down the information and we can get it so that everybody can know how to get in touch. So right now, if somebody needed to, to contact you, how would they do that? You can visit my website anytime at uh, www.platinumflooringdc.com um, and we would love to have you. Uh, we have an office in Springfield. Um, that's where our warehouse is as well. So for those who would just, any flooring question, would love to, you know, entertain them. And um, just, we like to educate. I, I, I just love consulting with homeowners and, um, yeah, and just introduce new products for the year 2022. So, I'm, I'm, again, I want to say thank you so much for coming here, this is not your first time in an in intelligence office, is it? No, no. So I know Rodney and I know a few of the people here. But this is a great event. Thank you so much for the invite. And, and uh, did I give you one of my cards? Not yet. Okay, there you go. And I have mine, Rodney. <coughs> Just Excuse me. Great setup here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So what I would like for you to do is, uh, Judith, uh, uh, make sure that you... If you still, after we finish doing some of the interviews, if we can set up for you to come in for so we can have you scheduled. If not, what you can do is you can call on the number that's on the card. So that's to make it so that we really can get the time to have it where people actually know exactly what you do. You can be very personal with them and let them know. Okay, and if great. you want to bring one of your partners or whoever with you, then more, you're more no than No partners, welcome. just me. Just you? But I'd love to go to a... 
a Filipino restaurant if oh, you want to do oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, oh, oh. Maybe, a, maybe a different, a different meeting. Too. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Salamat. Thank you so much, Rodney. Okay. Uh, Appreciate it. Not a problem. Thank you. Okay. Bye. All right. It's okay. <laughs> you make it so easy. Oh, go ahead. You're good. You're good. My gosh, you make it so easy. Hi. 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 Grandma. Grandpa. Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Y'all stay with me. I am here at People to People. I'm going to have to call you back, uh, Mama, okay? I'm going to have to call you back, okay? Where is Grandma's in the I'll, I'll, I'll have her call you, okay? Love you. Love you. Hello, how you doing? Well, how are you? Uh, yes. Oh, I finally got you in here. I know, right? Yes. We done had her a couple of, had a couple of times we had you uh we talked about you coming in we and did. sitting down with us. We so did. Welcome, welcome to uh, the People to People podcast. Thank you so much. So if you would, real quick, that's your camera right there. Um, see the little camera there? Oh, okay. Okay, so it, when yeah. you want to address the audience, you can talk to them. Gotcha. Uh, so pretty much introduce yourself and then tell them what you do. All right. So I am Raina Bonds. I am an estate planning attorney. I have my own firm. It's called Reflections Life Planning, and I work in wills, trusts, and estates. We also do a little bit of investing as well. So there's some... Uh, life insurance, and a little bit of retirement planning. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, again, and you're located here? I am located here. In I'm the here. I'm right in the Tyson's Corner um, in the Intelligent Office Building. Uh, I, so you already know about the experience here. I do. I, I do. love it. I love it. Yes. I love it. I've been trying to get people to understand, you know, if you want to be in an environment where it's comfortable, it's very polite, uh, it's, it's family oriented, but very business oriented as right, well. Right. Right. It's a nice mix. So it doesn't make you feel like you're in like just a cold, isolated kind of office, but you also feel like you have like other people that you can kind of coordinate yeah. with. And, yes. you know, when I see you around or I see some of the other people around who look familiar i'm like oh hey hey yeah <laughs> yeah I, when i first got here i mean i came in and i remember i was a little nervous starting out and i was like i walked by somebody and say how you doing it's kind of like you got that little okay are they gonna speak back yeah and then after a while as i walked around he was like uh, you just got here and i was like yes they introduced themselves, yeah. and then what I, what I really love is the networking events. Yes, yes, the events are are phenomenal. I mean, I even had an event here a couple of months ago where um, I had one of my friends come in, and we did wine tasting. She had, like, some hors d'oeuvres and stuff we did, and then I did my presentation to show people, you know, how they could actually be able to build their estate and how they, you know, different things that they could do, whether or not they build it with a trust, whether or not they build it using a will, you know. So it was really, really nice to have that platform platform because otherwise I'm like trying to find somewhere to have it. I'm trying yes. to find some folks to come. Yeah. It was just nice to have that uh, right here. And actually, I was at your event. You sure were. And I won a, a, a one of the prizes. And you told me, and as you said, now this is Dude, and that wasn't no cheap surprise that you gave me. No. Um, um, gift that you gave me. And I still have it. And, and I remember you said, so if you're not going to use it, bless somebody, but make sure that, you know, because this is something that is very serious. It is. So, so for all the guests out there, I need y'all to know that this young lady here has something that is very, very important and very vital to your survival, your life skills, the life things that you're doing Absolutely. for your family. And you definitely want to get, again, how would they get in touch with you? So they can get in touch with me on our website. It is Reflections, R-E-F-L-E-C-T-I-O-N-S, lifeplanning.com. So reflectionslifeplanning.com is the best way to get in touch with us. You can actually book what, a 15-minute consultation on that on there, um, no charge. And then you can also see the types of services that we offer. You can understand a little bit more about everything that, that's on the platform. Um, you can learn a little bit more about me on there. Um, and then also the phone. You can call me on the phone, 703-752-6196. That's our office number. So you can feel free to call that number. If you have any questions, any concerns, or if you just want to know a little bit more about how you can build your own life and your own legacy, because our biggest thing really is making sure that people understand the, you know, not just how to build the the financial aspect. That's great because, um, you know, you have your, your assets, you have, you know, your income and all of that is great. That's your day-to-day -day stuff. But what type of legacy are you going to leave behind? All the work that you're doing now, everything that you're building now is going to go somewhere. 
And it should be you who determine where that go, as opposed to the government determining where that goes. Because, you know, when people die without wills, without trust set up, you know, there's folks fighting, you know, everybody's in court. God only knows what type of situation you could leave behind. Whereas if you do some planning, just a just few little small things that tweaks that you can make in your life, you can really make a difference for your family, for your community. Um, and particularly my biggest interest is for that future generation. You know, what does that look like? What are we doing to set the ground and set the foundation so those future generations, those children understand how they can also build wealth and how they can pass that on to their family as well. Well, one of the things that I like, I love your energy. You make it you make me feel like I can come to you and it's not a situation that I should be ashamed to talk Absolutely. about. Absolutely. And so that's one of the good things. And so individuals, y'all got to re- who's watching, remember these things are put out there to help you. It's yes. not to, to belittle you or make you feel bad or anything because these are things that everybody has to deal with one time or another. Yes. So it's yes. very important. So, again, um, get that number one more time if they wanted to call and get some information. Absolutely. That's going to be 703-752-6196. Okay. Yes. So thank you so much. Did oh, yeah, I, do you have one of my cards? Um, I think I do, I do. have I'm going to give you another first. one, okay. though, because what I want you to do is make sure okay. that, you know, you're here, but we need to do the, 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 the podcast interview with you. Yes. So we really can, then we can really get into all the information and what yes. you had to provide. Yes. And services. And we'll talk more about um, how passionate I am about making sure the children understand these concepts. Which is very important. Absolutely. Thank you so all right. much. All right. Thank you so okay. much, Roger. All right. All right. Bye now. I'll see you. Watch your step. Okay. Remember, it's people to people with Rodney Grimes. I just love when all the individuals are coming in and how we're doing things. And uh, uh, I'm just excited about what's going on here at the uh, intelligence office. Hey, baby girl, I'm, I'm a, can you give me one of those two? Yeah. C- cut, cut the water, uh, the, the thing off. But, yeah, I'm excited about it. So y'all just, uh, we, we got it going on and we got people coming in. And we are loving this. And... Uh, I just thank everybody's patience and um, what's happening. Watch your step. There you go. Hello. How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, all right. I am so happy to have you in Man, the hot seat. this is a nice setup. Yes. Hey, see, I like that energy. She came in here and she yeah, just pumped me up. Yeah, you know. Look at these lights. Y'all are doing it. Oh, uh, we're trying to do it. We're trying yeah, to make it, a, make everything so that people will be able to get that proper information and get individuals like yourself so they can come. And what we do is we talk about what it is that's needed in the community. So what do you do? First of all, introduce yourself. Absolutely. My name is Tanner Ransdell. I am so happy to be here with this lovely gentleman who's so kind to host us today. Not a problem. Um, yeah, my name's Tanner. Um, I work for a company called Thrive. Uh, we are, um, I work in the Northern Virginia area um, and really all over the United States, but mostly Northern Virginia. And my job is to help local business owners. So small to medium-sized businesses, um, what we sell is software. So So if you need help organizing your day, if you need help building your brand, maybe you're not sure how to navigate social media, which is a huge struggle for so many local business owners that have never had to do this. Um, Absolutely something that I can help you with. Uh, Google My Business if you need help getting found on Google, which is super important. Um, You know, if you are a local plumber and you want somebody to type in plumbers near me and then boom, there you are, first thing. And so that's definitely what, what I can help out with. Well, um, first of all, I can tell you that I'm a person that's in need of your service because uh, because of the platform and what we do. Um, I, I I love entertaining. I love helping people and, um, and doing production, right? But just listening to what you said, it's a lot of us like myself who need your service. So uh, as far as expanding, understanding how to work through the social media. Absolutely. And get information out. Yeah. So yeah. how long have you been doing it? So I've, I'm green as a gourd. I have been doing this for three months. But, Brand new. But that's, you know what? Those are the best individuals to get with. <laughs> right? I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm loving it. I'm, br- I'm so fresh on it. And it's cool because the company I work for is absolutely phenomenal. The company, again, is Thrive. My team is amazing. Our message is great. The higher up people in the company, the president, the CFO, they got on during training and they trained us. And that was crazy because it's super high up people that are on there talking to people that just started, you know. And so my class of 25 who I trained with, who also are amazing people, we're all just mind blown. We're like, like, holy, we're talking to the CEO right now, the 
this is nuts, you know? And, um, but they're on there and they're, they're making sure this message is pushed. And, and the message is we're giving local business owners time back in their day that they need. Yes. Who wants to spend their entire day fixing people's plumbing and painting people's houses and then go home and have to keep doing more work instead of having dinner with your family? Nobody wants to do that. And so that's, that's really the message. That's what we're trying to push. That's our goal is to give people time, get, give good, hardworking people that have been in our communities forever <laughs> time yeah. back in their day that they need to keep being in our communities. You should be able to get off work and go out and have drinks with friends or go to um, the local parade and enjoy it with your family instead of going home and continuing to work. So that's that's definitely what we're trying to push for people. Well, what I love is this. First of all, your energy. I see that just you, when you just brought in and you brought out that energy. In, but Thank I you. see, I feel your passion. And that's what is also what people want. They want when they're going to sit down with somebody that they're going to get, you know, that, like, I am here to help you. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that from you. Thank you. Yeah. And so, again, uh, uh, you located here in the Tysons area? So I'm actually in Old Town, Alexandria. Um, okay. Yeah, I just moved here actually a few months ago. So I moved, and then I started this job. So I'm, I'm new to the whole area. And this is actually my second um, event ever. Okay. networking and um i've actually i grew up my mom's a radio host so like i'm very familiar with this environment okay. Okay. and i already know that like you, you and i would be best friends yeah, <laughs> so, that's right. so um but yeah i i grew up in lexington kentucky and i moved out here and so i'm it's been so amazing as well for me to start getting to know the community and the people and just understanding how how welcoming everybody is and how encouraging everybody is for pe for other local businesses. I yes. mean, you're sitting here today and this is my first time meeting you and you were telling me how excited you are for me to be doing business here. Yes. And that, I'm just like, that's, I don't, don't feel like that's normal. Maybe I'm just blessed. Maybe we're just blessed. I don't know, but it's just, it's that's noteworthy. And so, yes, I live in, that's a long-winded way of saying I live in Old Town, Alexandria. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm born and raised in Old Town, Alexandria oh, as well. so I need some recommendations. Yeah, so I know, all, I know every. Yeah. Back street, I know all the stores, I know everything, so definitely I'll be able to give you some good directions cool. on to uh, how to entertain yourself. That's a very, very lovely area. Um, uh, uh, Old Town, you go down to the waterfront on King Street, you just going to have a ball. So, I mean, all the restaurants down there are phenomenal. They um, are. I, I just, I can't uh, uh, tell anybody in the DMV, if you really want to go and feel the Old Town relationship you want to go there yeah so absolutely. but yeah um your passion your energy that's what's important especially when people want to have a, 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 a work relation with someone mm -hmm. they want to know that you really love what you're doing mm -hmm. and that's what i got so did i give you a card i don't think i have one okay here you go thank you so now and now that you even talked about uh, you might have a little bit of uh, skills in the uh, podcast area and, I may uh, and have so forth a little bit of skills in the podcast area i i, I have a whole setup but uh i, I haven't had anybody to to work on it with so maybe i just you need to talk found to somebody to work <laughs> they, I'm, I'm trying to tell you that's what i'm saying actually i got some things that you might be interested in okay so you yeah, know most definitely here at the, uh, the people to people podcast what we're doing is trying to build a networking force we are making this the hub for the dmv so we represent not just tyson corners we represent washington dc we represent virginia okay. we represent maryland so we definitely are interested. I want to talk to you because I got. I, I think talk. you got some. So let's talk. I thank you so much for Absolutely. coming in. Absolutely, thank, thank you, you. Okay. thank you. All right, thank you so much. Nice. Yeah. This My, is a really good setup. Seriously. This yeah. So you all got a lot of room here. Yeah. Well, actually, it's bigger we, than I thought it was gonna be. I got something else I want to show you. That's why I don't want you to get away. Okay. So if you're not gonna leave, I won't. Okay. You tell me not to. I won't. Don't. I'm here. We need to talk. <laughs> all right. I'm okay. Here. <coughs> uh, y'all excuse me people to people with Rodney Grimes let me tell y'all something I am right now so excited here we sitting here we are uh, doing this live here at the intelligence office I got him coming in and out um, I, I, I know y'all probably can hear it in my voice I have uh, I, I, some kind of sinus thing that went on with me no I do not have COVID that's funny every time somebody coughs and he's uh, start to look funny we start looking at him and we got to say no I don't have COVID but uh, you will hear me cough every now and then. I'm trying to uh, keep the water. Water is good. Okay, and I got my next guest just came in. So y'all just hang in there with me. Watch your step right there. Hello, young lady. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you, sir? All right. Okay. Hey, and if y'all could, hey, baby girl uh, or ladies, give me some more business cards, if you will. 
Okay, and and that's your camera right there. Okay, so when you went to, <laughs> you can hit him to me. Thank you, baby girl. Um, so um, would you like to introduce yourself and tell me what you do? So I'm Michelle Mendock. I am the Director of Community Relations at Great Falls Assisted Living and All Memory Care Community. Um, it is about 18 miles here from Tyson's, located in Herndon. Um, and we, again, specialize in all memory care. Um, as the Director of Community Relations, though, I am profoundly blessed and fortunate because I get to also help to educate the community. Um, so while I keep my families and my residents educated um, and engaged to help to extend the quality of life for as long as I can with them, I helped the community as far as being educated as well, and I take a, a profound blessing in being able to do that. So, uh, You know what's really, really fascinating, and with all the people that I meet, when we have different backgrounds in doing things, when I talk to a person and I can see that passion, you feel that. So just the way you were saying that, you take pride in helping individuals. I've been in senior care for over 20 years. Um, before that, when in high school, when I um, knew that my passion was people, um, you know, I, I took a little diverted road when my scholarships ran out and joined the military. So I took my military and my love for helping people and became a cop for six and a half years. And then I came back to healthcare and it's been helping seniors ever since. Um, I just recently moved up to Northern Virginia last year to get married, which I did in September. Congratulations. And thank you. And like I said, I, I truly believe that God puts me where he wants me. And yes. he put me at this community to help. And um, the things that I'm being able to do for these residents to extend the quality of their life for them and make lasting memories for their families, but also to give back and educate the community is something I'm extremely passionate about. If you don't mind me asking, what branch of the military? Army. Army. Okay, thank you for your service. I'm Marine. So. Oh, okay. All right, all right. We're done now. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, and also you was a police officer. I was. Um, I was a proud Culpeper police officer for se uh, and a detective for s about six and a half years. And so. Again, and thank you for that as well. Um, that's something else that uh, really been over the last years or so, police officers have been getting a short end of the stick on some things. Exactly. And, and you know, we got good and bad in everything. But I, somebody had said something to me about uh, 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 police officers said, what if we didn't have any? Well, how would you handle it? When we, most of us who talk bad about a lot of them, when we're in trouble, who do we call? They're still going to call 911. And you know what I mean? Police, so. See, so sometimes we got to take, we got to step back and look at the big picture on things. And that's what we're doing with people to people. That's what we do at these network events. We step back and look at the big picture. We want to see what everybody's doing and what everybody's bringing to the table. And like I said, I feel, like I said, it was my, to get the invitation to come out here today was truly amazing because while I can talk about the community that I work in, my community might not be for everyone, but the education that I can bring the community to keep them healthy and happy, and it's not all about dementia, um, I think that, again, that's a rewarding experience for me to be able to keep them educated and you know, we were going to do some fun things, too. I mean, your, your car guys, we've got a car show that I already had planned that they're going to bring out some more cars for. So my residents can't get out to everything, so I'm going to bring it to their doorstep. So. That's amazing. Do you have a business card with you? I sure do. And uh, um, what I would like to do is also I want to extend the invitation to you now that what I would like to do, because I'm collecting these cars from different individuals, uh, we will be getting in touch with you to have you to come on and do the podcast. I would love to. I'm okay. a certified dementia practitioner as well, so... Um, dementia actually is killing more of our people than cancer is right now. So, you know, again, cancer is near and dear to my heart. Um, I, my father uh, has been gone four years as of yesterday. And so I'm extremely passionate about making sure that I keep everybody healthy. And what they don't understand is things like controlling their blood sugar and their blood pressure and all these things will help to prevent them from getting dementia in the future. So. so I have a mom who uh, is has been diagnosed with myeloma. Mm -hmm. um, um, she's 90 years old. Um, that's my heart. Uh, we've been doing everything to keep her comfortable, and she's doing okay. Um, but uh, when people mention those things, I'm sorry about your loss. But at the same time, you know, uh, it's important when we have individuals like you to educate us on how to prevent things, yes. how to deal with them and to be prepared for them. And also to make sure that they know that there are other resources out there. Like, you know, people 
hospice. They hospice has this dark cloud over it. People just think that they come in at end of life and they pump their loved ones full of morphine and let them go peacefully in the night. That's not what hospice does. And to understand how the Medicare system that you've paid into all your life gives you that benefit to help jump in when you get that diagnosis of certain things early, like dementia. As soon as you get that dementia diagnosis, hospice can step in and help that family out to give that loved one the extra support they need, but also the family the support they need. And it costs them nothing. Medicare pays for it. So there's so much knowledge to get out to the community. And as long as I'm still staying and I'm going to make sure I get it out there. So. Well, first of all, I say thank you so much. I thank God for individuals like you. Um, and that's very important for us to have people who are passionate. For you to serve in the military, to be also a police officer, and then you taking on this responsibility. Oh, and I raised two boys by myself. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, so we, we one of the moms, like, every now and then you had to, like, tighten them up and make sure that they was handling their business. Yeah, they didn't like the Army and police side of me now. But, but, but I... Grown now, they're great. Well, I, again, I can tell you a great mom, and uh, I am looking forward to having an opportunity to sit down with you. If somebody wanted to get in touch with you, how would they do so? So they can actually call me directly on my um, work cell phone um, because it never leaves my side. It's 703-716-3538. Um, or they can email me at mmindock, M-I-N-D-O-C-K, at greatfallsassistedliving.com. I thank you so much. I appreciate you coming out to the networking event. Please also, anytime that you hear that the people, the people, we got something going to be coming up. You need to come to. Um, we're planning in uh, the end of April. Okay. We're giving everybody into the opportunity, to, again, to talk about what they do. And we're trying to build this network and community where nobody feel left out, where if it's something that you need, we know who to get in contact with. I thank you so much I for coming. I would love to. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, okay, we keeping it moving. It's people to people. Y'all just hanging there with me. I'm telling you, this is an amazing day. I'm just loving this. And I got baby girl back there, Maya. She doing her job, making things happen. <coughs> yep. It, it's empty. CFZ got some more over there somewhere. Mm. I tell you, uh, we are still live. And yes, um, they get ready to bring another guest in. And so y'all can just hang in there with me. As I said, you know, we take and we do this and we make this happen. So, uh, uh, definitely watch your step coming in right there. Step over and you can jump in this seat right here. How you doing, sir? I'm well. How are you? All right. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. My pleasure. pleasure. Mine. Thank you. All thank right. You. So, nice again, everybody that's just joining in, this is People to People. We're at the intelligence office here at 1934 Old Gallows Road, up here in the suite 304 with the People to People podcast. I'm Rodney Grimes, your host. And I'm going to tell you, we try to give that that positive energy. You remember what I say? It's people to people, power to power, positive thing to people. Guess what? We really serious about dealing with people and making things happen. Okay, sir, can Hello. you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is uh, Yusuf Riyad, and I uh, work for RevTech Performance out in Sterling. Oh, okay. And what do y'all do? So we are a uh, high-performance automotive shop. Uh, so we do regular breakdown service, uh, suspensions, brakes, things like that. And recently, uh, there's been an interest in electric conversions. So people are coming to us uh, trying to convert their vehicles to electric cars, and we've been doing that. So so if I, if I told you I had a 1995 convertible Mustang, we could, you, you could do something to make Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I, well, well, That's I want, a beautiful car, by the way. Yeah, Classic. I'm trying to tell you. Actually, I, I got lucky and got it by uh, a young lady sold it to me for thirteen hundred dollars, right? Woo. And uh, uh, and 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 so I I did want to get rid of it, but it needs a little work. Okay. But you know, is it, is I've had about three or four people walk up to me and say, "How much you want for it?" Yep. And I was like, "Nah, yep. I ain't trying to sell it." You can tell the value's yeah, going up just yeah, by those yeah, approaches. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. Right? you're already getting offers, and it's not for sale. <laughs> so if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, what would you, how would they do that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, our website or email is the best option. Uh, it's service at revtechperformance.com, uh, and from there we'd be able to schedule out either a uh, an appointment for 100 point inspection simple oil changes restoration projects a lot of classic cars are now being restored um, because the price of new cars is uh, is going up um, so people are holding on to their current cars and and you know investing a little more in them so we're, we're happy to help people do that do you have a business card with you absolutely okay I keep a couple handy okay and actually what we're going to do is we're collecting the business cards because what we're going to be doing as we do the other uh networking events okay we'll be reaching out to you 
we'll also reach out to you to invite you to come and do a podcast with us so that you know, because we're just doing it very briefly today. Sure, sure. But we want to get it so that you can sit down and really give them the full details and information on what you do. Absolutely. How long have y'all Absolutely. been doing that, if you don't mind me asking? So we have been doing this for five years now. Okay. It started off as simple suspension, breakdown service, and then we got into race cars. So we started building race cars. But as you know, it's a very niche market. Not everybody likes to race cars on the track. Right. So then we've expanded and kind of modernized to having these kind of electric options for people. And it's really kind of been taking off. We're, we're pretty impressed at it. Well, you know, in this area, people love cars. That's so, for sure. Yeah, I so, guarantee you can just tell by looking outside. Yeah, right? I'm trying to tell you. I mean, you go certain areas, you're going to see fancy cars here and there. And when the summer com- time comes, yep. believe me, you start seeing all type of cars Everything. coming out of the garage. Oh, yeah. You can so, just sit in your front porch and watch them all go, uh, yeah. go around. So, and actually, I, I, we got a couple out there. They was talking about doing... Uh, they do the car events and things of that nature. Yes, so yes. I'll be glad when I do that interview, interview with them because as well, I, I'm not, I, you know, I'm a guy that drive a car. Yes. I'm a good driver. Yep. Um, but I'm not a guy that know how to do the, the maintenance and stuff of that nature. But I love Absolutely. beautiful cars and yes. I love seeing them. And I respect any man, yes. any man or woman who can get in there and fix a car. Yeah. You know, that's a trade that will never, never go it, away. It takes a skill. And, you know, several times we've had people come to us and, you know, show us how you do this. Show, absolutely. You were very transparent. We like to show everybody what we're doing. Lots of times we bring clients into the bay with us to show them, hey, this is, going, this is what's going on with your vehicle. This is how you change this. This is how you monitor that. Because at the end of the day, you don't really think about how often you're using your vehicle. You're using it all the time, every time. You're relying on it daily. So the more you know about how it how it handles and how it acts, the safer you'll feel and, and more knowledge you'll have. So that's always a plus. Well, that's most that's a blessing <laughs> just to have individuals like yourself in our area. Thank you. Uh, where's your location again? Uh, in Sterling. In Sterling. In Sterling. Yes, yeah, Cedar Lane in Sterling, right by uh, the uh, Sam's Club. There's a Walmart out there. Okay. Um, so pretty, uh, pretty good area for this type of, uh, of work. So. How, how did you hear about the uh, networking event here at the Intelligence Office? So we are actually a member of the Tyson's Corner uh, Chamber of Commerce. Yes. So am so, I. So yes, we we are very excited to be members with them. Uh, when we host car events. We broadcast it through the Commerce's uh, network. Yes. So that has had a very positive impact and a great turnout. For Mr. Mr. Andrew is an amazing... He is a character. He I'm is trying a... to tell you. Uh, Andrew is like the... He's like, I don't know if I want to say he's the backboard of a puzzle. Yep. You know, you 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 know you put a puzzle, but you can't just put the puzzle down there because if you want to move it, you got to take it apart, right? That is the best way to look at that. But he's the backboard that. of it. He is. So he start put you put the pieces together. Andrew is that backboard holding it together, keeping it connected. I love that analogy. I'm gonna steal that from you if that's okay. That's not a problem. <laughs> I need hey, to so use I that. appreciate you coming in, my man. Thank you so much. And I, the pleasure is all mine. As Thank we you. do the interviews, if you're still around, I'm gonna come out and uh, check with you, and we can chat I'll a little be bit here. more. I'll have some snacks and uh, some drinks in the meantime. Thank okay. you so much. Peace and blessings to you. All right. It. It's people to people with Rodney Grimes. I'm here and I'm telling you, I'm enjoying this, and it's just amazing all the individuals that I got coming in. I tell you, this is phenomenal. I am so pumped up today on how we are going about just interviewing everybody and making it so that I'm keeping the girl, baby girl, Ma, working over there. Ma's over there. Ma, take the earphones off real quick and jump in the seat. Hurry up. Come <laughs> jump in the seat real quick for somebody coming here. Don't be shy. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah. Come, come on, come on, come on, Maya. Hurry, hurry, for somebody come. Come on, come on, there you go. There you go. So, everybody, this is Maya. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> this young lady is phenomenal. Um, she is so phenomenal with the work that she's doing for us. I just want people to know that I don't do this by myself. I love you, I adore you. I appreciate what you and your mom is doing. You. I got big things. You already see, I'm not playing. I'm trying to get you in, that, in an area where we're going to take off. Um, I, I want the, the guests to know that for real, for real, Maya comes here dedicated. Um, she came out, she learned how to work the board. Maya is also a, a, a up and becoming uh, photographer who is going to be doing some things. Uh, we're going to be working on some stuff. I'm trying to help her develop her skills so that when she become famous, that she'll look back and she'll be saying, yo, he helped me, you know, get to where I am. Because with her drive and her personality, she's going to go a long way. I just want to tell you thank you for all you do, your dedication. And and I don't take it lightly because uh, our young uh, intern that we had, Tawana, Tiana, 
who trained you, mm -hmm. um, you stepped in and you really, really came in and you did this. And you could be doing something else besides sitting in here working those boards. But, uh, again, this is going to pay off for you, I promise you. You're going to see. <laughs> You're going to be like, yo, I hung in there. We got Ma's mom sitting in there. Um, Y'all already seen Christy, but uh, have we got somebody else out there yet? Uh huh? Waiting for Virginia. So switch real quick and let your go back over there, uh, baby girl, and let your mom jump in that hot seat real quick, so we can actually let people see what we're doing. Uh, again, Maya is phenomenal, and uh, I am so so excited about all that she does. And this is Christy Love, who y'all already know as a part of the team with the People to People. Christy is out here with. Uh, we also uh, she has a segment. Christy has been on hold just a little bit because of her rebuilding and building. So mm -hmm. instead of us just keep throwing things out there, we are preparing ourselves to really come and get them and make some things happen. I tell y'all, talk for a minute, Christy, because I'm just <laughs> running my mouth. Well, hi, guys. My name is Christy Love, and I'm going to have a segment on Wednesdays, and it's going to be about everything. First of all, it's always going to be about love. So I'm always going to come from the energy of love. I'm going to let you guys know when it's going to be okay for children and when it's not going to be okay for children, because I'm always going to go there. Ladies, we're going to talk about dating. We're going to talk about divorce. We're going to talk about um, real feelings on how maybe people just don't understand when you just need to be held. And we're going to talk about rape and we're going to talk about molestation. We're going to talk about triggers. We're going to talk about how to communicate with the ones that you love and, you know, sometimes you got to communicate with different people based on their personality. So we're going to get into all of that. We're going to get into um, mental health. That is my passion. So I, I love love, but also we have to make sure our loved ones are okay. And it starts with yourself. We're going to do mental check-ins with yourself. I'm going to show you that journey on how you can check in with yourself. And if, if you're not feeling right, it's okay to get help. It's just a journey at your pace. So... That's what everything the segment's going to be about, and I'll keep you posted, guys. I can't say every, every time bring your children. Sometimes I'll say your children can join in. It's a family show. Sometimes I'm going to tell you this is good for your teens and all of us, teens, 13 and up, 18 and up. I'm going to give you those ratings. If it's just for the adults, I'm going to let you know. Clear them out because we're about to get real. And that's what I love. Because Chrissy, when she get real, she brings you the real deal. She gets the real conversation going. I love you for what you do. I appreciate you. I like you for your support. And I wanted people just to know that, you know, this is not about me. This is not about you. But it's, it's all about, about us. We, right? People to people. Power to power. Positive, Positive thinking, thinking people. people. Oh, you already Bye, know. Bye, guys. All right. Thank you so much. So, again, here we are. We doing what we do. That's Christy Love, who's going to be on. She's going to be doing her segment on Let's Talk About It Wednesday. Um, she's just on hold a little bit because we're working on some things. We're trying to move forward. Uh, uh, we want people to know that what's happening is this is the Intelligence Office networking event with the Chamber of Commerce. Um, I'm hoping that Andrew will slip in here, too, if we can get Andrew to come in sometime or another. So y'all make sure Andrew don't slip out on me. Um, but uh, for real, we are so excited about everything that's going on. And, uh, and uh, okay, we got another queen that just came through the door. And I am so, so excited. And watch your stuff coming in right there. There you go. And you can have a seat. All right. Hello there, young hi, lady. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm, I love your shirt, by the way. It's oh, fantastic. thank you so much. I was thank, noticing that. Thank you so much. And I love your accent. Oh, well, thank you. It's the only one I have, so that's lucky, isn't it? Yeah, and where, where are you from with that? Well, I was just going to joke and say South Arkansas. No, um, England. South England, England yes. I, well, let me tell you this, and I'm not being funny. I, when I watch a television program and I listen to some of the actors or whatever that's from England, I find that... The, no disrespect, I find it to be very sexy or something like that. Oh, Even so you're with saying the, yeah. all the right things. Yeah, yeah. Saying. You know, I, I, it's just it's just that tone and the way that y'all kind of deliver your messages has always did very well with me. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. I appreciate that very so, much. So what do you do, if I may ask? That's a very DC question, isn't it? Um, so I have a company called Connection Hub, which basically helps businesses get found, get more business, um, get more exposure, drive them more cl uh, clients and traffic, more client attraction, really. And that is so good. And so how long have you been doing that? 
Well, that depends. I moved here in 2000. Um, I still have my accent. Um, but uh, so I've been building my database and my connection uh, reach um, since then. So that's really what I've just grown exponentially over the years through many, many different ways and formats. Okay. And do you have a business card with you? Of course. Or, or, Would you I, like it? Please. It's way over there. Should I, I go get no, it? Um, or should actually, they throw me my bag? If, if you can grab that for her, because the reason why I want I asked that is because what I'm doing is everybody that I'm interviewing, even today, I want to make it it's a point that I get back with you and have you to uh, come so that we can have a full session oh, on the podcast. Oh, that would be fantastic. I would love that. Oh, if you ask anybody I know, I, I have been known to like talking, so that's A-OK with me. Oh, I love that. So, <laughs> yes. So, um, again, so, um, and if somebody wants to get in touch with you and you, um, okay, so you help get the businesses going. Correct. Yeah, no, I help get them found and drive them more traffic. So basically, whatever a company is doing, whether they're new, they're in their first couple of years, or they've just saturated their current market, they carry on doing the marketing they're doing. I'm very non-traditional marketing. I take their business, I put it on my multimedia marketing platform, which is very real time, very alive and active, to my reach and network that I've built here over 22 years, without any time investment from them. So they carry on doing their business, marketing in their way, I take them, me and my team, put them out there and get them found and drive them traffic from my platform and my reach. I love that. First of all, um, I don't know if you uh, believe in God, but I do. And I say you are God sent. Aww. So I really, really think that what you do is a very is, is a necessity, especially for the DMV, for individuals. And let me tell you why. See, in this area, it's been so political. OK, so yeah. a lot of people haven't been building that network and relationships like they should. We make it so that, you know, we got this type of, uh, I, and I don't make it political, but, you know, everything got a label. Yes, of course. We, but sometimes we got to remove that. What we want to do is get to a point where it's about networking and helping people grow. It's all about networking, helping people grow. I mean, it, I hate to say it is about who you know, but it, it, everything's relationships. Yes. And it should be about relationships. Who Everybody's going to be attracted to who they know, like, and trust. And that's how business is done best. And yes. why shouldn't we enjoy doing business yes. and enjoy doing it with the people we like? I think you were saying something similar to that out there. Yes. And yeah, absolutely. And, and why not? This life is the only one we have. Let's enjoy it. Yes. And connect with those we want to connect connect with and do business while we're at it. So I just like to connect people. It's so. almost like I thought about this. I, every time when I talk about people and I try to get them to understand, sometimes people will start to become a little selfish when they're doing things. But if you're growing corn and I'm growing potatoes and the other person is baking bread and then the other person down there is growing lettuce, we can all come together and have a heck of a dinner yeah. sitting at the table. Yeah. Everybody can be smiling and go home and have a good night's sleep. Yeah. That's the same thing with the business. Actually, it's funny you should say that. Absolutely. And there's plenty of business out, business out there for everybody, no matter what you're doing. If you're doing the same thing as somebody else, are you really? Because you're a different personality, so somebody's going to uh, be attracted to you and then attracted to them, and you won't have the same clients. So it's all there's plenty for there's plenty full out there. And then the other thing, interesting enough, because I'm doing an event with speakers next week, but one of my speakers, she's going to be talking about for business, if you give more, you're going to get more and receive more by giving. Yes. And it's a different mindset because we're all about, you know, uh, it's a human thing. We're out there to what can we get? Yes. But she's going to talk particularly on if you have the mindset to give, then you will receive more. And I think that's a difficult mindset when you're in your own business because you're always looking to grow, grow, grow. But if you think about giving before receiving, it's a nice twist and see what happens. Well, you know, um, I, I received that. And I've been here since uh, July of last year, and uh, I've been doing this going on a little over two years. And not to toot my own horn, but sometimes toot it's okay. It. Yeah, toot away. You know, when you're proud of what you're doing, you, 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 you can stand up and say, look, I'm doing a good job. One of the things that I've been very interested in, and that is helping the, the, the individuals in the surrounding community. I started off with the podcast called Real Talk. But again, as I told you out there, I changed it from that to make it people to people. It wasn't spelled R real, R-E-E-L, was it? No, it was R-E-A-L. Okay. Yes. Oh, there's another one who does real, R-E-E-L. I thought that might be you. No, and, <laughs> and, and that was another reason why, because it was so many, it was different ones, but they were saying real talk this, real talk that. But when I thought about the people and the different people out there doing things to help each other, um, that was just something God put in my spirit and said, Rodney, you know what? Uh, it is not about 
individuals. It's about the people coming together. And I say it people to people, power to power, positive thinking people. Absolutely. So again, um, uh, Don, right? Yes. Um, first of all, again, it's a pleasure for you, me to meet Thank you. Thank you. And um, what I would like for you to do is, uh, I did I give you my card? No, you didn't. Okay. Sorry. That was my mistake as well. I should have asked for it back they, at the same time. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. If there's anything that you can do to help inspire and help us to move forward, we will accept that. We will receive it and accept it. Um, I'd it's, love to. Yeah, it's all about us trying to get to be. Um, we're trying to make the DMV the the, the networking hub of. I'm you, all about hub, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, there hub. you go. How about that? There we go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that you know where we can have people know that when they come here, that they shouldn't be afraid to start a business. Right. They shouldn't be afraid to try to do something. Oh, because absolutely not. They have different individuals like yourself that will help them move forward yes. and make a difference in their life. Absolutely, yes. You're a doll, baby. I, oh, I, I'm, thank I, you. I, I appreciate you so much. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you so much for asking me great questions. I really appreciate it. And you feel free to come. And like I said, we got we keep the cards because um, what's going to happen is uh, most likely it'll be my wife or one of my other assistants. They're going to be reaching out to you, and they're going to be asking to have us set down so we can actually have that full time to do a full interview with you. Absolutely, okay? and if you want me to get the word out, Let's let's chat and let's do that. Yeah. I appreciate you so much. All right. Much. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, what a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Ooh. There you go. Bag. I'm sure you don't want my little handbag. I'll take yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey, this people to people with Rodney Grimes. You see these amazing people that I'm having coming in and interviewing. This is phenomenal. I'm so, so excited about what's going on. This is just amazing what's happening. God is amazing. I always give God credit on everything that goes on in my life. I just know that I cannot do anything without them, and I cannot do anything without you. All you individuals out there that tune in know that this is not about me. This is not about you, but it's all about us. Believe me, and God we trust. People to people, power to power, positive thinking people. Y'all just hanging there with me. I'm sure I got some other people coming. Excuse me, I may sound a little gloggy because I, I'm dealing with this uh, uh, hay fever or whatever, and one of my... One of my sweethearts just came in, Miss Ginger. How you doing? Good. How are you guys? I'm so happy. This is Miss Ginger. This is her second time being on the program here. It is. Hello. We're si Hello, guys. How you doing? Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I'm, it's always a pleasure. So, how's business been going? Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. We're finding our space after the the post COVID space. We were super busy when everybody was going through that, but. Now I think it's uh, we're getting back to basics and how we can help ourselves be uh, stronger so that we're not so freaked out right, for the right. next time. Yes. Well, um, first of all, for some of the people that didn't um, get to see the program, Ms. Ginger was on the uh, program of, uh, a few months ago, and uh, uh, she is uh, a young lady who is helping people to live a better life. What I'd like for you to do is kind of talk about what you do. Sure. So I own a company called Core IV. We do vitamin IV hydration. Uh, that is, we know that disease is caused by deficiencies. So we address those deficiencies and raise the body's baseline and help the body do what God intended it to do, which was heal itself. And I tell you, I had the opportunity to experience um, what she does out of her clinic out in uh, Herndon. Herndon. Right. Um, she's a, have a professional facility. Um, what they do will help you in so, so many ways. Um, if you go back and you want to get a little more information, you can go back and look on YouTube and you'll be able to look through our uh, collections of videos and see Miss Ginger on there. You want to do that. You want to give Ginger a call. What's the number for them to get in touch with you? 1-866-426-7348. So it's 1-866-4-CORE-IV. Yes. And uh, believe me, um, what she has to offer you is going to help many of you to enhance your life, to be able to, be able to focus better, to rest better, to be able to feel better. Um, I'm, it's, it's funny. A lot of people want instant gratification. Through Ginger, you get that. <laughs> That's what I like about it. See, yours is not a long-term situation. You got to wait, 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 wait to see results. Yeah. What, what you do, you see immediately. 
Yeah, it's true. And it's funny because I always tell people um, the practitioners that come to us are conventional medicine practitioners, nurses, paramedics. So they're largely unfamiliar with what we do, but it only really takes them about a week to a week and a half before they start seeing the clients that come back and talk and how much they've benefited from our services. And they really get into it and they start researching and start partaking in the services themselves. Uh, it is. It does very much satisfy my need for instant gratification. Well, I can tell you, um, the only reason why you haven't seen me is because my plate has been so overwhelming full. Um, and I know that what you do is going to help me. Um, so I, I, I think about it all the time, and, and I'm going to make sure that I go so I can go through the process and be able to be a, one of the uh, regular clients for you because uh, uh, what you do is going to help me be able to sustain at the rate I'm going. Yes. Because, you know, I do a lot. And it's been really, really, uh, at my age, um, it's imperative that I do things to help me stay healthy, you know. And when I'm talking about um, some people uh, would not understand because it's through an IV that you receive this stuff. Now, I say this stuff. I'm talking vitamins. I'm talking about things that's going to help your body immediately, that you're going to feel that instant change, and you're going to be like, okay, man, this is something that I should have been doing a while ago. So, again, um, you'll be able to go back if you go check on some of uh, uh, go to uh, Rodney Grimes on YouTube, and you'll see all the programs. You cannot miss this beautiful woman. Um, she was definitely uh, uh, one of the individuals I enjoyed interviewing, and I was so excited because I had a chance, again, like I said, to experience it myself, and I would not... Uh, if it's my son, daughter, niece, and nephew, even my grandchild, if I thought it was necessary, I would bring them to see you. And that's why I'm trying to tell people they want to check into what you do. I appreciate you so much. And you always supporting everybody. Um, I can't wait. To, again, we got some things that we're upgrading. So you're going to be one of the people that I'm going to call. It's completely different in here. Everything looks amazing. Yeah, but we get ready to switch up a little again. <laughs> we, 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 what we're doing is actually we we just kind of like trying to tweak it to get it real comfortable. Sure. We got some other things that we're working on, but it's all about just making it so that we really can have the audience to feel comfortable with us. And so that's what we're looking forward to doing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, um, I'm excited. And I saw your little man with you. Yeah. You know, um, um, uh, that's another thing that I can tell you're a good mom. So, you know. My little trooper. Yeah. Yeah, he's been good tonight. So, again, <laughs> um, just give him your number one more time. one 426 7348 Can I give him my... Um, Website address? Yes, yes. www.coreivtherapy.com. Get in touch with Ginger. I'm telling you. Um, her staff is uh, very professional. It's a very, very professional uh, 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 clinic, and uh, it's worth the trip. And just call and ask her information or talk to her staff. They're going to give you the information you need. Um, I highly recommend for some of the people who are dealing with stress levels, uh, you're having problems sleeping, um, you have low energy levels, this lady, you want to see what she has to offer. I thank you so much for you coming thank in again. You. All right? Thank you. I can't wait to go back and watch tonight's all of the interviews. What uh, an exciting night. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, dog. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And, and guess what? These, I, now I know. There they go right there. I was like, yes. who left her? That was Ginger did left them for you. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. I'll get two more for your girls. Okay, thank you. All right. Watch your step. Okay, it's people to people with Rodney Grimes. I thank y'all so much. I'm telling you, um, we just love what's going on. We got people coming in, coming in, coming in. We're doing this interview, and this is so powerful. That's what's going on right now. God is good because we got a lot of people coming in. Uh, again, I apologize. Y'all can hear the little nasalness going on with me. Um, I should have went out there to see Ginger. That's what I should have did. Um, as we move forward, excuse me, uh, we're going to be really, really um, uh, enhancing a lot of the people that we're networking with. Um, I didn't ask Ginger for her card because I got Ginger's card because Ginger's in my, like, in my main book because Ginger, um, like, again, I had that opportunity to go out and uh, receive the, the uh, uh, treatment, and it was phenomenal. I went home and had the best sleep in a long time. It was phenomenal. So... For all of you individuals who just uh, tuning in, yes, it's Thursday. This is Thursday special. It's the end. We are here at the end. Of, um, 
intelligent office here in Tyson Corner, 1934, Old Gallus Road. We doing it out here. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Oh, guess who we got? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, hey. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 okay, Get, fix, fix the camera. Fix the camera real quick. Sit him down. Oh, no. Grab a seat there. We got Brandon in here. I've had too much to drink to be on camera tonight. Hey, hey, hey. hey well, um, um, hey, Yasu, too much. hey, don't even worry about it. Hey, hey Brandon came in and, and tripped the camera over because <laughs> we was live, so y'all going to see the camera moving, but that's all right. My bad, my bad. Hey, that, that's all right. But guess what? Hey, now, I've been trying to get Brandon in here to sit down with us out here since we've been here. Uh, Brandon is here with the intelligence office. Brandon is one of the individuals who make things happen. He gets us set up. He helps us get things done. He is uh, one of the individuals when you want something done, you go to him. It's a yes or no answer. And 90% of the time, if it's something that he can do, he get it done. And when I say it's a yes or no answer, that meaning this, he's not going to have anything that's going to inconvenience us always to help you move forward. So when y'all come out here, y'all looking for a place where y'all want to have a business. You want to have a good office space. You want to come to the intelligence office here at 1934 Old Gallows Road in Tyson's Corner. I'm trying to tell you, it is amazing since we've been here. Um, a couple of individuals that you had, we had the interview with, um, they already acknowledged and said that when they've been out here, it's been like family. What is it like dealing with everybody that you've been dealing with from the professional level with us as clients? It's actually been, you know, really good. Um, I'm a pretty simple, basic guy, so I, I try to I try to work with and like to work with people that are just cut and dry, simple. W what do you need? What What can we help you with? Can we do it? If we can't do it, you know, we'll try to support you in any way possible. But uh, this is just a lot of fun for me. I mean, I'm a kid in a candy store here. Um, we were able to build a facility that we wanted to build, and now we're just trying to create a community of business people to help them grow their business. And, and you know, you guys are part of our community. Yes. And, you know, this, this journey started 2019 before COVID. So we, we had the idea to have this two and a half years ago. And it's starting to come and fall in place now that COVID seems to be on its way out to yeah. the next variant shows up. Well, one of the things that I can say is that, uh, again, since we've been here at the intelligence office, it's been a phenomenal experience for us. Um, we have, as you know, we came in, um, you have done nothing but open arms and have us to feel comfortable. Uh, we not only feel like a business here, but we feel like we're dealing with family. And uh, what I like about the intelligence office is the networking aspect of things, the networking events. I'm talking not one, two, sometimes three, four times a week. Mm -hmm. and, and it's on a basis where you support everybody, making sure everybody is taken care of. I've been meeting phenomenal business and the business uh, people, entrepreneurs, people who have ideas to share. And, and so with great respect to you and the, all the intelligent office staff, I want to say thank you um, for making our uh, um, workplace here like home. And uh, we, we are continuously growing. Um, Brandon is, again, he's going to be uh, doing some stuff. So don't be surprised when y'all see Brandon sitting in here <laughs> doing the podcast, too, because this is something we've talked about. Um, but we got some things just planning together. Him and I, we're chatting about we working in the future. And yes. uh, um, don't worry about the camera falling, because I'm going to talk about it when he leaves. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about him when he leaves. All right, Brandon. I've had, I've had a few. I've had a couple of drinks tonight. So. Well, that's all right, Brandon. You can do it. You all right? I'm gonna put you out to see because I got that other gentleman sitting over there, and I'm gonna bring in. Don't you step on that wire when you, huh? I'm gonna unplug it. 
No, just, just watch him as he step over it. Over yeah, because now I'm going to be the fool who, like, you know, messed up the camera. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, hey, hey, I thank you so much, man. Oh, no, thank, thank you. You make it very easy, and this is just hot, so... And we you know, just you, you made it you made it extremely easy to wanna wanna work with you. All right, extremely, thank you so much. Extremely. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you. All right. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's right. That's Mr. Brandon um who's out here in the intelligence office. Um the gentleman is is he's he's just a phenomenal guy, easy to work with, and I just uh enjoy being with him. Y'all looking for an office and a place to come and do your business, you wanna come out to the intelligence office. I got another gentleman just coming out, he's coming over. All right, all right. Watch your step there. There you go. I only have one thing, so. All right. Okay. How you doing, sir? Very good. Thank you very much. You've been excellent and uh, terrific presentation. I appreciate it. Appreciate it so yeah, much. Glad to be here. And okay. Uh, first program. of all, introduce yourself, please, and tell me a little bit about, about your business. Okay. Well, my name is Joe White. I work with Space Saver Systems Incorporated. Uh, we are an entity of the Space Saver Corporation. We produce or we manufacture and provide solutions for our clients. The client base could be anyone, small businesses, individuals, all the way to major corporations for the storage, the physical storage of materials. So it could be something from a little IT component or medical supplies, pharmaceuticals, all the way up to aviation components uh, and various things like that. So we take pride in supporting our, our clients. Uh, networking is a huge part of our uh, establishment, you know, because uh, reputation precedes you typically, and uh, you, in this case, our company, and I'm very fortunate to be one of many entities within the company to be able to uh, connect with our clients or potential clients, let them identify resources that we can provide to help them with. We dig in deeper, and we have our clients' best interests in mind, so it's a good business model across the board, because if it's not a good fit for us, you know, we're not going to try to force a round peg into a square hole, uh, or vice versa, you know, into, you know, their square peg into a round hole, et cetera. But nonetheless, it's, um, it's a really uh, enjoyable business, primarily because so much contact with, with, with people, and getting out there, and hey, you know, uh, there's, uh, it's just a, a real good thing to to be able to have and, uh, you know, to be in a good business realm uh, where we can uh, be providing um, clients with what they, they need and they, um, they want and, and they appreciate. Uh, there's no force feeding on that. It's just, you know, hard sells or anything else like, like that. And so, again, with networking, as, as you, you folks have discussed earlier, and, and it's beautiful element is when people know each other and they know they're trustworthy, et cetera, good things happen and everybody benefits from it ultimately. Uh, not just the, the businesses themselves, but the people that are doing business with the businesses or what the business is providing for others. So that's the real benefit that I have with, with my job. I really appreciate that element. And then along with that, when we, you know, we, uh, are crafting things in our, our clients' best interests, then, you know, once again, uh, it becomes good business as far as the ROI uh, on on the deal. They benefit, they, their clients are definitely, that's who we want to benefit. And then, of course, you know, we're going to have uh, good projects, which will, um, we benefit uh, financially from uh, as a result. So. Just a little bit of a, a sidebar there, but uh, very, very good business model that we have. And I'm very impressed with your presentations today. I mean, this is this is excellent. You guys are in the right realm, in the right location, too, to, you know, make things happen. And uh, it's a small world. And you, I think you've been around long enough to, to recognize that. And it's great. I mean, that you know, we, a lot of us have had exposure to other areas in the world or, you know, just a lot of experience even just uh, here in the local area. And uh, it's a real good benefit for everyone, and that's what I, I see. So um, anyhow, I don't need to, I don't no, have, I'm, I don't I'm, have a license to preach. So right, no, I, let me tell you, I, so I didn't interrupt you. First of all, yeah. I, I love your demeanor. You, you have that calm uh, deliverance, which uh, uh, is, is something that I need to practice. Because I sometimes I'm a little over the top, so I was sitting here and I was just watching. And I said, "Uh huh." See, I always, 
look at another individual and try to pick up something from them that's going to help me move forward. Sure. So first of all, thank you, sir, for you coming out and supporting and, and allowing us to be able to have that opportunity to network with you. Yes. Because what happens yeah. is it takes one to teach one. Mm-hmm. And when we out here networking together, we put ourselves in a position that I, I, I say this, a person told me, I'm a professional photographer, yes. uh, okay, and I remember... I was taking this uh, little class, and, and, and the instructor said, don't ever think that you learned everything in the field. Oh, yeah. He said, because some of the things that you'll do, you'll do by accident, mm-hmm. and then some of the things you'll do, you're not the first one that, excuse me, that did it. Sure. So saying that, when I meet individuals like yourself, I watch, learn, and then I take and I move forward Mm -hmm. to benefit what I'm doing and to benefit others. Um, People to People is established here uh, um, here in the Tysons area. I love the uh, communication level among all the businesses. I like it that we are building a networking force where we're able to support one another. And it's for all arenas. So it's not just about because if you like to drive a car or if you just got a, 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 your real estate agent or you just a, a banker, but I'm talking on every avenue. And this is something that's important for us on a daily basis to help us to move forward. I'm an ex-Marine. I've traveled. Simplify. Simplify. So I, um, I've traveled uh, all over the world to see some things. And one of the things that I liked about America is you can make your dreams come true. Now, when you come and do that, it's not for you to be selfish and do it by yourself. We do it collectively. Mm -hmm. And one of the things in the Marine Corps, and that was, you know, if we win in, we leave nobody behind, Mm -hmm. right? So honorable. So that's the one thing that I look at even here as I move forward in this networking force. I leave no one behind. What I do is open my door and say, come on, let's go, and let's make it happen. Terrific. That comes through. It's excellent. And, you know, with networking, everyone benefits. Yes. It's a positive network like you. And you come you come across really well. Don't worry about that. You have a little bit of a New Yorker in you? Well, every... <laughs> <laughs> my, mom is, my mom is a New Yorker. Well, actually, um, I don't, Still everybody is, seems to say that. In a higher place. But uh, I uh, it's just, I know what it is, is the, when I said call or talk. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of, I don't know, it's, I, I, it's something that happened uh, many, many years ago. That I, I didn't tell people, it, but anyway, one of my best friends uh, who I served in the Marine Corps, uh, Ronald Dean, um, I went in, and when I came home, I spent a quite a uh, uh, long period going in and out of New York, so I must have picked it up there or something. I don't know. But, no, I'm originally from Old Town, Alexandria. No kidding. That's yes. Great. And I love, I love, I love Alexandria. I love the DMV. I'm telling you, it don't get no better than this. Yes. And and now that I done, uh, got a location out here at Tyson Corner, uh-huh. oh, I feel like I'm moving up with the stars. You know what I mean? It's you just, are. It's, are. it's just it's a excellent. process. that's beautiful. It's excellent, and this is terrific. You know, you care about others, and that comes through. It, that demeanor comes through. It's just it, a lot of things in delivery, and I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not acting right. as, as such, but I can, you right. know, if, if need be, and can enunciate certain things or whatever, but, you know, it's just one of those things when you, well, whatever, your, you know, your delivery is really good. It comes through as being sincere, and, uh, you know, people will will tune in to, to you on that, will, you know, know to respect you in, in, in that regard, and, um, you know, that's beautiful. I deal with a lot of people. I mean, that's really when we had the initial touch, okay, well, and Carlos was next to me, and he says, well, I've, and I play golf. Right. Where I like to play golf. Right, 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 said, right. Well, I do play, play golf, golf, you know. I mean, but really, what I was going to say is I like to be with people. Um, not so much engage, uh, but yes, engage people. But, you know, to be around people and, and, and do that and use our skills effectively in, in that regard. But caring, caring about others. And guess what? It makes it a better world. You know, when we know that we're appreciated, somebody, you know, might not be, might not have, have any love in their life, you know, that, you yeah. know, unfortunately, you know, their parents or, you know, maybe they don't have a relationship with parents or whatever, but when they come across people like, like you, they'll identify that you're genuine and you really do care about them. Oh, yes. It makes a better world and, you know, anybody can destroy something. It's a matter of, okay, can we make it a better thing? I love that. Yeah. 
That's that's so true. It's easy to destroy something. My grandma always said, "Is always uh, you can always take a negative and turn it to a positive." Yes. Very easily. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I've told to many people, I said, "It don't take many muscles to smile. It take more muscles to frown." Yeah. A lot of people right. don't know that, but uh, you know, it's just all about looking at the bright side. And another thing, yo, if the cup is had to some people, is what either half empty or half full. Yeah, man. It's, it's half full for me. It's I mean. half full for me, too. You know, I mean, we're moving forward. And we're so, Rodney's Spirit. <laughs> you know. Do, do you have a business card? Uh, I do. And, uh, yes, I have it right here. I'd be glad. Okay. And I'd, what I'd like to do is uh, a couple other people in my company weren't able to make it today, but, you know, and we'll be in touch. Okay, please. And this, this will be excellent. It really is a small world. You know that. You know yes, that sir. Yes, sir. Straight up. Thank you so much. Yes, and, no, thank you. you you're excellent. And, um, what, when, a, what a great model. You're in the right place. I, I really, I'm really, so excited Thank about moving forward and doing things to help and empower people. Um, my slogan is people to people, power to power, positive thinking people. Yes. Um, and I believe that uh, it takes one to teach one. Um, I always tell people, you don't have to worry about reinventing the wheel, mm -hmm. but you can help it to just roll a little smoother. You can give a little technical adjustment to it. Yes. And when you do that, you then help to society move faster. And You're move spot on. on. Yeah, That's, so. You know, fantastic. It's great realization. And, and I appreciate you. And you're genuine about it. You know, this is the whole deal. You can't, you, you are genuine. I'm confident of that. Yes, you know, sir. With a lot of people, you know, we know how to, you know, pick up on, hey, this, you know, this guy's really, really on it or us. You yeah. Know, oh, you know. No, my, 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 uh, when my wife uh, met me early on, um, it's many times uh, we'd be riding down the street and I could see somebody a uh, car broke down or something, and, and I'll pull over, and, she, and this was when she first met me. And uh, she said, what you doing? I said, I'm going to help him. And she'd be like, you don't even know him. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So I would do that. And as we would move forward, um, I laugh at her because before I start to do something, she'd say, oh, I already knew you was getting ready to do it because I just love helping people because many people help me. And I, it's what I believe that what you give, you will receive. Absolutely. And so I do that with a lot of honor. And I don't really look for gratification because I believe that God puts me in a position that he will give me what's necessary and what's for me. You're definitely on the right track, Rodney. I mean, I, I agree with that. And, you know, once again, knowing and seeing a lot of people, when a true and loving God is in their life, they are so positively effective for others. And, and guess what? You know, and come the exit interview, well done, good and faithful servant. Hopefully we hear that, right? Yes, sir. And, you know, hey, we all make mistakes, too. Some people get, you know, oh, my gosh, I made a mistake, and they're, they're crestfallen about that and the like. But, you know, one of the things is to begin again. You know, hey, tell our, our Lord you're sorry, but begin again. Yes. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. And also, you, you know, we build in uh, perception. You know, this is something that you can read people very easily the way you are. And, you know, I can, you know, have pretty much the same thing, too. Or you know what you don't know yes, right. type of thing. It, they're gifts. Yes. These are gifts. I don't deserve anything. And I keep on, you know, when I get with uh, uh, my friends who are of high order, uh, I say, I don't deserve this. <laughs> who does, you know? None of us do, you know? Right. But the, you know, this is our Lord's friends. Look at our Lord's friends. We're a bunch of people that were... Imperfect, by and large. The only perfect people were our Lord and his mother. Yeah. You know, basically. And everyone else fell victim to original sin. Yes. You know, we all have that carryover. It's you know, yes. called concupin con concupiscence, you know, as one, you know, descriptive word for it. But uh, nonetheless, we're, here we are in life, and we're, made, you're, that's your, your objective, is to make it a better world. And you are. And this is wonderful that you're doing this work because you have the ability to affect so many people positively, which I'm not jealous. Of. I'm thinking, my gosh, you know, how, how do I work with these guys? You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, you Seriously. know what? The door is open. Um, again, uh, this is not something that I had set out to plan to do. Um, God put it in my spirit one day to talk about some things, and and as I did it, uh, I realized that it was another platform for me to help people. When I joined the United States Marine Corps, I joined when I was 17 years yes. old. I had to make a decision. Uh -huh. I was living in an area where it was a lot of crime and things going on. I know it well. Uh, yeah. and, and, okay, so, but then it was me 
and 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 the inside of me that God gave me that gift to give the will right. to do right and wrong, right? right? And I made that choice. Mm-hmm. I said I wanted to make something out of myself. That is true. And so yeah. what I did is I ran down to the recruiting station from a bad situation, uh-huh. and the re- recruiter said, "What's up?" I said, "I want to go in the military." He said, "When you want to go?" I say, "Tomorrow," and I meant that on the strength that that's how bad I wanted to do the right thing. Yes, that's And awesome. so uh, with that, that's one of the best things I ever did in my life was join the United States Marine Corps. Okay. I didn't retire from it, but I did. I was honorably discharged from the service, and uh, I would never, ever uh, uh, put my head down for being a United States Marine. Bravo. So uh, that's something I, I'm very proud about. But what I'm even more proud about is that I am a man that know that I am made in the image of God. And see, when I do that, I just move with a powerful uh, force of that agape love and keep it moving. Yeah, super. I mean, that's a great realization. If more of us could realize it, and more will just by your contacts. I yes. Mean, you have, you obviously, you can tell you have a very loving wife as well. It's oh, wonderful. Yeah, that's, that you, yes. You, I got you a praying a, wife. I, she, we, we, wonderful she, relationship. You yes. Know, I, I, you know, I don't need to know the details, but you know, it's obvious by the, yes. the way you engage each other is naturally and genuinely. Yeah, there you are. I appreciate you, sir. Rodney, thank, thank you, you so very much, much sir. All I hope, right. hope to see you more often. Okay. And I'm anything a, I can do to assist you and what you're what you're what you've been doing, bravo. Thank you, sir. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm more than happy to be, you know, a, a We we are actually we just came a non profit organization, um, which I'm really trying to get people to see, you know. It's a way you have to survive. You know what I mean. Yes. And we're not. I'm not coming out here begging for any handouts, any donations that come toward the the podcast. I accept open arms. One of the things that I can tell people that they will see, and they have seen this during my journey of doing this, that this is not about me. This is not about you. That's right. But it's all about us. That's fantastic, man. And you smile so genuinely, and it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, great delivery. Uh, you know, people are going to pick up on you that, that you are the real deal. Thank you, sir. And, and uh, I'm certainly glad to spread the word. I mean, like I said, if you ever need any references, I mean, I'm learning that much more about you in a short period of time, and which is all, you know, positive, positive takeaways. And this is the way I want the world to, to be, too, with people, you know, living living our gifts in the, in the middle of the world. I actually, you can see that is I, I actually received the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award signed by the President of, of Biden, um, Joe Terrific. Biden. Um, me and my wife received that a few months ago. Awesome. Um, Congratulations. And uh, that was something that was uh, presented to us. We didn't even know um, that was coming. And it's been an honor. And it's things like that that let me know I'm on the right track. Mm-hmm. So, again, in meeting gentlemen like you is another one. I receive your spirit. And, and that encourages me, see? So that's what I say. Yeah. You know, a lot of times it's not what you know, sometimes who you know. Yeah. And, and when you move forward and move in a positive direction, all it does is just start to move the negative energies and things out of your way so that you can fulfill your destiny. Yeah, super. You, you really go deep and you really have, you know, just a very good bandwidth of, of how to live a life in, in a positive. And so many times I was, gosh, I was, I was talking with a couple of the, of the, the people that were here tonight, actually three of them, we kind of hit on the same conversation about helping other people and caring about others. Mm-hmm. And that's a huge element in successful networking. It's just a, a big, big part of being positive out here. When we, when we network, we can be those positive contagions. Yes. You know, a very good thing for, for the world in general. And uh, we'll do what we can. You know, it's not always going to be steps forward. Some days are going to be a step back or whatever. Or to the side. To, you know, based on things we can't control. Yes. But our Lord sees what, what man doesn't, you know. And, uh, but a lot of us do see what others do. And a lot of people care about others, you know, or not just about themselves. Oh, I'm jealous or envious right. and the like. You know, there's unfortunately some of that out there. But, but, you know, when we see good people, I mean, this is what I really enjoy doing is engaging uh, people and, well, I mean, just, you know, with things and uh, just helping them to be that much more effective in their life in the positive way as well. But it's not me. It's an inst- I'm an instrument, as yes. you are. Yes, sir. You know, giving these gifts, and like I, I'm, you know, I'm repeating, <laughs> hitting the replay button. It, it just there's 
so many gifts that I don't deserve, but I know that they're gifts, and this is what I'm, I'm going to use. I'm going to use, use my talents effectively, what few I have, but use them effectively rather than, okay, come judgment time, you know, what did you do with this and that and whatever, and, you know, uh, yeah, right. you know, and then, bleh, you know, lukewarm. No, <laughs> thanks. Don't want to go there. But, you know, the objective is just to be natural in that. You have a very good way with people, being able to contact people just and, and it rubs off on others too that people can be more secure with themselves you know sometimes you know oh gosh you know I don't, I don't deserve to be talking with the president of the United States or this person or that person or whatever but if it's a situation you, you just go into it and you know you, things work out regardless you know they will I share one more thing a very wealthy friend of mine many years ago told me mm -hmm. said you can go into a room and it could be a hundred people and, and, and so this is a networking room, and, and you wanted to go in there because you, they said it's going to be these millionaires there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and, and, and when you walk into the room, it could be 100 people, but it's only five millionaires, right? Mm -hmm. He said, walk in there confident. Mm -hmm. And walk in there just like you wanted the millionaires. Mm -hmm. He said, because what happened is, is that you will gravitate toward that individual you need to talk to. Mm -hmm. And he said, so don't go in there feeling intimidated. Go in there feeling confident. <laughs> and so, so so, that's what I do. Nice. I walk into the room. I don't walk in as a broke man. I walk in as a strong man yeah, yeah. with a strong opinion on moving forward Terrific. to do the right thing. And that's what all matters, whether I shake hand with the millionaire or the poor man. Yeah. You know, as long as he's a man of integrity, then that's who I'm excited to Terrific. speak with. No, that's I appreciate you, sir. Certainly, Rodney. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Feelings are mutual, and okay. well done. And please continue, and I will, like I said, I'm, I'm more than glad to be a, you know, just if you want to send somebody, you know, hey, you know, what do you think about this guy? Have them call me or contact me. I can speak with them directly, et yes, cetera. Sir. And, um, you know, it's about being forced for the good. Yes, generally. sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. Nice being with you, folks. Okay. And Encore. All right. I'll talk All right. to you soon. Okay. Have a great All day. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Watch your step. Yeah, I will. I'll try to anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I only had one beer. <laughs> yeah, sure you did. Okay. Yeah. Right. It was one very large beer. Okay. It's people to people with Rodney Grimes. I'm telling you, I'm just excited about what's going on, and I'm just loving everything, and I'm just loving this. And now, just thank everybody just been tuning in, and I'm going to continue to keep doing what I do. You saw that gentleman just left the seat, and it's all about just doing positive things. I thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Simplify. All right. All right. Thank you, man. Oh, my. All right. Thank you very much. Sorry. Oh, that's my girl. Yeah. Everybody, gone. Everybody gone? Oh yeah, it cleared out. Okay. And they done? Okay. So okay, what you gonna do is sit back down with me because you're gonna help me close this out. All right, let's close. Hey, hey, tell baby girl to come on in and we're gonna close this out because I need to talk to this young lady here. But go on and grab back back that seat. Cause I'm trying to see what I'm gonna Oh she okay. Well, we're gonna talk to baby girl, our um technician. They told me to find another name for her. Then they baby told me girl? don't call her the technician. Uh, they said give her a promotion. Producer. Okay, we can call her a producer. Producer's then. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. when she returned, but until then, I got you back in the in the, in the seat yeah, with me. Yeah. So um, actually, what's getting ready to happen? Uh, okay. Um, what I want you to do, baby girl, you can kind of let me take this out because the information I want to share with this young lady, I don't want it to be public size because if she tell me no, I don't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, yeah, but uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rodney Grimes of People to People, and 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 your name again? Uh, my name's Tanner. 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 Tanner is here. She's helping me close this program out. Y'all was here at the intelligence office here in Tyson's Corner, 1934 Old Gallows Road. People to people, power to power, positive thinking people. We love you. God bless you. Y'all stay tuned because we'll be coming back soon. Don't forget to go. In. <laughs>